Hi, my name is Jonathan Banks and my position at Pan Intelligence is of a BI consultant. So my role involves sitting down and working with people to create a dashboard where I will teach them how to do it themselves. Today we're going to be looking at reskinning elements of the dashboard, for instance, table headers, chart backgrounds, how to hide certain bits like the RSS bar at the bottom. Uh, let's get started with editing table headers. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you how to change the background color of the column headings in a table. All of this is held in a, a style sheet called configurablestyles.css, and this lives in the root of your dashboard install directory. So all you need to do is look for a particular class within this file. So in this case, I'm looking for the class called data view. And the bit that controls the header is these hash values here. Now there's two values because there's a kind of gradient applied to them, but if you set them both to the same color, then you'll get one solid color. So at the minute, they're set to black. As you can see, these are black. So I'll just change them to white to show you how it works. So white in this case is FFF, FFF, and I'll set the other one to that as well. FFF, FFF. I need to save the style sheet. I then need to come back to my browser and I need to refresh the dashboard and you need to do a hard refresh as well. And that means it will not use anything that it's cached. So to do that, you hold down the shift key and then left click on the refresh. That will force it to go and do a hard refresh. And you can see I've already changed my login box as well. Um, I'll just log in. And now, because I've changed it to white, I can't see the text because the text was white. But you can see the effect of me making that change there. You'll also notice that there's no banding on this table at all. Normally, the table has alternating colors between white and a very, very light blue. Now, I've removed that, so I'll show you how to do that. But back to my style sheet. And you can see I've made some notes in this style sheet as well. So alternating item colors, I've, I've put a note in there that this is the bit I need to change. So if I change this, so the first one is the first row it finds. The second color is the second color it will apply. Now I'm going to change that so that it's black. And then I'm going to save that. And I'm going to come back to my dashboard. And again, hold down the shift key, press left, click on the mouse, refresh log back into the dashboard and now you can see the banding now okay these colors are not great but it gives you an idea of what's possible okay so the next thing I need to change is the text color of the heading so I go back to my style sheet this time I'm looking for a different class within the style sheet uh, and this class is called my data grid header style so the easiest thing to do is just go and search for that in the style sheet itself. So if I press Control and F, and I start to type my data grid header style, and it's found it there. If I can close this. And the bit I need to change is this value here next to color. So it's currently set to white. I'm going to set it to black. And this will change the color of the text used in the table heading. So again, I've entered that, I've saved it, I come back to my dashboard, I do a hard refresh, I log back in, and now the text is black, exactly as I said it was going to be. So that's how to change tables very briefly. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the background of charts. So out of the box, the background of the chart normally has a banding on it, very light gray, alternating white and light gray. Now I've removed it in this case, and I'm going to show you how I did that. It's very, very simple. So if we come back to our style sheet, and what we're looking for is a class called chart background. So if you put a dot in there, chart back ground. Okay, there it is. Let's close our little find thing. And what we need to do is change these two colors. So we've got alternating back color one, it's currently set to white, alternating back color two. That's also set to white, that will remove it. So just to show you how it works, I'll set the second color to black. I'll save that. 
I come back to my dashboard, I do a hard refresh, log in. click on charts and there you can see that there's a banding that's been applied now to my chart via me setting that color in the style sheet and finally I'm going to show you how you can edit the tabs at the top of the dashboard to give them a different look and feel so if I come back to my style sheet and I'm looking for a new class and this one is called tab navigator tab if I spell it right, there it is. So the bit that I'm going to change is the border color. So the border is currently set to black. Let's set it to, I don't know, let's see what that color is. Save that. You can see it's like a, a nice orange color now, but you can see the effect. The tab now has a different color on the border. Okay, but what happens if we want to change the text color in there? So again, this is very simple. This is all held in the same class actually. So it's currently set to black. So let's set it to the same color as that orange color above it. So I'll just pick it from the list. I'll save that. I come back to my dashboard, refresh. Now we've got nice funky orange text on there as well. I can also change the color of the tab by when I mouse over it. That's defined in the style sheet as well. So if I just go down back to my style sheet, that's called text rollover color. So I can make it change to a different color when I hover my mouse over it. So let's go with, let's see what that color brings up. And I'll save that. Refresh my dashboard. So now, when I mouse over it, you see it's changed the colour. So it's a, a slight sort of greyish colour that I've picked there. Okay. And finally, I'll show you how you can adjust the corners. Now these are very straight edge corners, 90 degrees these corners. There isn't actually any corner radius defined on them. But if I go back to my style sheet, you can see I have a, an option here to define a radius. Now I'll make it nice and big and exaggerate it so that you can see the effects nice and easily. So I'll save that. Again, every time you make a change, you need to refresh your dashboard for the changes to be picked up. And this is applied universally across the dashboard. So all users will see those changes. Log in, and now you can see, look, that the tabs at the top have got this nice radius corner. They look more like a tab. Okay, so that was nice and simple. One thing I would advise you to do is before you make any of these changes is take a backup first so that you can roll back to it should things go wrong. As you can see, that was dead simple, guys. So if you have any questions on this, drop me an email and I'll be happy to try and help you out. Bye.